Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, so today is the big day. You guys saw the sneak into the weigh-in. You're about to see sneak into the actual event. Um, here we go. I got Moser right now. I'm a videographer. He is uh, printing out the passes. We're about to do the whole nine yards, guys. Like. The thing is, is if we can get past security, that's like the only trouble we're gonna have. Once we can get through there, now that we've like saw a couple of the guys um, at the event yesterday, we can kind of just be like dap each other up and then like we're just kind of in there. So that's what I'm hoping uh, goes down. But we also have two more friends coming um, from Kentucky down here today. We gotta go pick them up at the airport. It's one, it's 12:26. I think they're getting here around two. Um, and then we got to get situated and uh, plan out this. Like, like I said, we'll show you the passes here in a second. They're not exactly the same. We low key just chopped them up and made our pass. Um, so I'm gonna be VIP. Most is gonna be uh, media, and then my friend Jack's coming. He's gonna be VIP, and then Dylan. He's also gonna be media because we have two cameras, and then we also have two uh, like Jake Paul like team paul like shirts that we got at the event yesterday that we might put on i don't know we're gonna see who's like wearing the track suits from yesterday and if they are then we're gonna put them on if not we're gonna just play it out and just walk in like we own the place uh so wish us luck guys let's get it dark out um, because got our passes everything like that ready to go fit it up um, but uh it's dark time we wanted to wait it is like a huge like you'll see it's not that big but it's like a just a huge warehouse and so as soon as you walk in there's like no like really uh, hallways or anything like we looked at Logan Paul's story and it just kind of showed like just a huge open space when they just stack chairs behind each other so it's gonna be open as soon as we get in we'll probably just be in so we're gonna go like sneak in through the back I saw a garage open too hopefully it's still open it'll probably be closed we're gonna see if we can just open it up or something but yeah there's a couple doors wish us luck let's go get it all right guys so we're here right now we, we thought we were about to just walk through a, like a huge like this is a weird spot we thought we were about to go past a bunch of homeless people and literally they're all like 15, 16 year olds just laid out on twin size beds with phones, iPhones, chargers and everything. I don't understand. This has been the weirdest little location ever. I mean, here's the building. It looked like a giant warehouse at first, but it's like all lit up so it can like project stuff. But 
we're about to go scope it out, boys. It is wide open, so it's gonna be hard. I'm not even gonna lie, so we'll see what happens. As we were walking up to the front entrance with our media passes ready to go, we met some dude saying he had VIP passes to the second floor. We knew that a section upstairs was $10,000. We went to the box office to see if the dude was legit, and the lady told us that the passes were for the upstairs cash bar. But we knew if we could make it upstairs, then we could finesse the rest. And that is exactly what we did. Viewer discretion is advised. Gibbs gonna win this fight. Uh -oh. Jake Paul won, and despite Brandon Amato getting in a fight with Bryce Hall, he invited us to Club 11. So Medell took us to his condo first, and then we headed there. Jake Paul, VIP after party. I know. <laughs> I, that's what I said. I looked at him. He's all happy. You know what's funny? He won? Like, they got a bloody nose. I'm like, wait, that's it? Yeah. Jake, Jake gets a bloody nose literally driving down the street. If you line. look that, at him. That's why he got the surgery. Yeah. But, no, happens. it still didn't work, though. It no, happens. No shit. He's gotten
fire you. that video it was definitely a crazy weekend um and of course i do want to you know strive to like drive these fast cars and live in big houses fly private jets like make the money everything like that but like i do mainly want to spread love and positivity and encouragement and i truly mean that i've never really talked about this on camera before but about a year and a half ago my best friend austin actually committed suicide and i found him and that is something that I can't describe, nor do I want to. Um, but I just really want to push everybody to love and encourage each other. Quit with the hate. I need you guys to love a lot more and hate a lot less. Um, life is way too short for us to have all this drama and hate. You know, the boxing match was cool, but like the fight that broke up, broke out was just pointless. Um, he should if you knew what it was about like it's just it's dumb and uh i want you guys to love each other and push each other and make each other better like it's not a competition like it's a competition with each other to make each other well like we all want to strive to be great um and the only way of doing that is to love and spread positivity and encouragement and you know you may be able to get up on a pedestal by hating everybody but you know what that's not going to work out for you in the end and so there's a golden rule, everybody knows it. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And that's a rule, you know, we should all follow. And uh, I just wanted to put that in there, guys. I love you all. Um, you know, I never want anybody to go through nor do, you know, what happened a year and a half ago. So just thank you guys for sticking around. And um, go ahead and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, and I will see you guys next time.